hey everyone welcome to my channel my name is morgan flowers if you are new here don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you're not new here hey boo welcome to another weekly vlog today is sunday um what you guys saw earlier i just went to church with my grandma or at her church um met some of my family there it's been a family weekend if you guys saw my last vlog um we celebrated one of my cousin's um graduation parties yesterday so it's been a family weekend which is kind of um different but it's oh and on Friday, was that Friday or was that Thursday? You know, or, no, that was Thursday. I went out with my grandma. So it's really been like a family week for me. So that was cool and refreshing. I feel like working the job that I work, I feel like my off days are always all over the place. So when I can do something and I can attend something, I'm like, okay, bet. Like, <laughs> let me go. Um, let me, you know, make sure I'm present and stuff like that. So I was happy to be able to just, just like tap in when I could. Um, I don't know if I ever explained to you guys, but my, my work schedule changes every week. The hours and the days, like some days I'm off, I'm off any day out of the week. So, you know, <laughs> you can only imagine how hectic that can be. I think I've gotten used to, well, I have gotten used to it at this point. It's like, if I can make it, I can. If I can, I can. I'm going to try to take off. Um, I may be able to go next week. I don't know. You know, it's just like, it just, I've gotten used to it. So, um, again, I was able to make it. Now, I actually, it's funny because me and my family were actually planning for a little family trip because we were supposed to have a family reunion, but it got canceled. So, we're actually going to plan to do something else. So, I, we just like finished talking about that earlier. So, that's exciting too. A little something to do if you guys saw my last well, or last year we went to Poconos so I actually really love family stuff like I can't imagine being with uh, like my future family like we we, we got to do stuff you know like your side of the family my side of the family yeah like that's about type of vibe I like now wait hold on I'm in my work work clothes quote unquote but y'all I ordered from Amazon right they they split my package into two okay i ordered a a, a pair of sunglasses because amazon just has some of the best shades <sighs> so yeah a pair of sunglasses i ordered a sun i'm just waving around the scissors i ordered a pair of um no not a pair i ordered a dress because i've always been a summer dress girl like i've always been that girl editing me is gonna be so annoying sorry morgan I'm put some pictures on the screen of me in like dresses like <laughs> I've always been like a sundress girl I remember I had this gray sundress it was my favorite ever I got it from Plato's closet and it was like it had this little opening in the front and then it was like really long like down to my ankles and then the bottom like flared a little bit and it was like this cotton material I love that dress like I loved it so I bought a dress similar to that so you guys will see it when it comes and I say it when it comes because they they said my package was delivered and it wasn't I say oh uh-uh <laughs> Now, mind you, I oh I ordered spin bristle brushes for my toothbrush because you know I have the well I have the electric toothbrush so I try to order the spinnies. They said it was here. I said where? It ain't come to this house. But basically, I'm thinking maybe the driver didn't realize I had two packages because I'm like, why would y'all? Sp well, I don't know how the factories work, but I'm like they split my package into two when I ordered. You know, when it came, when it was coming on the same day. So instead of them putting it all into one package, maybe the driver thought it was just in this one. I don't know, but. I looked on um, Amazon like I was trying to figure out like who do I who do I contact about my order not being here and it said like try to wait a little bit just in case it comes like the next day or just in case it was a little bit of a delay it didn't come so I called them earlier and they were able to send me out new ones now these shades are kind of cute well they are cute I'm gonna link them below they are, they are cute okay so they're giving a little look at how cute these are these are kind of big though these are big though these are large now i will say like let me know if y'all feel the same way i feel like certain sunglasses look better with certain hairstyles like you'll pick i picture certain hairstyles on my hair i mean i picture certain hair hairstyles with certain pairs of shades i don't know what i'm picturing for these right now i don't know if it's the braids don't know if it's the braids i don't know but wait let me see they're so i can't even really see for real i mean if we're being completely honest i can't see i mean i can see myself but it's like a shade but when i look at the footage i'll be able to see it more clearly because i'm not looking out of a sunglass you know but they look kind of big i feel like they can be still a little a little moment because i really do like the color of them i like the um the not gradient but the um maybe it is gradient the the color or the color of the lenses 
<laughs> I like them. Um, and again, they're like this brownish look. I think they're really cute though. But I have so many pairs of sunglasses in my sit in my cart, in my safe for later. Like I have so many sunglasses in there, but I thought these were really cute. So that was one thing. I guess you guys will see the dress when it comes in. But again, it's like super cute and flowy. The back is out a little bit. And I just thought it was fun. I'm like, I want to get back into that girly sundress. Like, literally like Morgan at my core. Like, Morgan when I was younger. Sometimes you got to look at your old stuff to be like, what did I what did I always like? Or like, what was I into that still, or that still could be applied to today? I'm like, I stopped wearing cute sundresses. Like, fun little, like, moments. That's always been my thing. But... Let me, I have to clean up a little bit because after service, I came back. I was rushing because I had to hurry up and get to work. So my place looks a, not a mess necessarily, but like my church clothes are all on the floor. I got bags and stuff all on my bed. I got the iron over there. So I'm going to chill. I just wanted to say hi. And I'll see y'all next time. Or I'll see y'all later. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk when we talk though, but I'm going to be at work tonight. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I am dress well i'm wearing my little marshall's set um because i have a class today i think i told you guys i'm taking zumba um wait what's today when does the vlog come out well no it doesn't matter anyway i just had a thought but it doesn't matter um hold on i had a little iced coffee this morning i also had um i cut up a tomato or a couple cherry tomatoes i had a banana and a half of an english muffin for breakfast i didn't want too too much but i like i know i needed to put something on my stomach but I want to thank you guys for your kind messages on my last vlog because I talked about the little weird experience I had with the guy on Instagram or whatever. And um, I, I want to extend the conversation to my newsletter, not to talk about the specific situation again, but to extend it because I had another thought and I want to turn that into a topic on my newsletter. Um... So it's so funny because even when the situation was going on, this guy that I know, he replied to the um, to the story on my Instagram story and was like, uh, only a sad, this is very like Sagittarian of you to like turn this moment into like something else. I'm like, yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure out how to deal with it <laughs> in a way that makes sense, you know, so um, that works for me. So I'm definitely going to expand it onto my newsletter. So what I'm about to do now really quickly, I have the, these pictures from New York that I have a photo album. Highly recommend y'all. Like seriously, you think about photo books, like physical photo books, and it's just like we don't have that many of those anymore. So this literally has like dust on it. <laughs> but I don't touch it that often. But when I do have printouts and stuff, I try to put some stuff in there. Um, I do need to print some stuff off my phone, like more updated pictures. Um, because a lot of the pictures that I have are pictures that, um, I just had from my childhood. Pictures that I've gotten from my family members and, like, you know, old stuff like that. Things that I don't remember, but when, you know, family members have had old pictures of me. Oh, this is so cute. So, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do really quickly. I, um, I have pictures in here. They're about to fall out. So some, yeah, like, so stinking cute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's me and my sister and my dad so adorable but y'all tell me why i my nail i chip my i chipped three nails basically this one yesterday i was eating pistachios it wasn't even worth it like i y'all i just got my nails done in my last vlog like literally just got my nails done i chipped this one i chipped the this finger i chipped my t my big toenail like this is crazy because how <sighs> i'm supposed to be going out this week Yes, wait, what's today? Oh, no, 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 it's not this week. Whew, I was about to say. I'm supposed to be going out to dinner on Friday. But I have something to do also next week. But I'll have my nails done again by then. But it's like, all I was just saying to y'all, I don't really go back to the nail salon and get my nails redone. Oh my gosh, it's a spider and it's about to make me go crazy. Every time I let you in. You're going to die today. Sorry. Ah! Anyway. I had to kill that spider on my wall. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, but I was saying I don't go back to the nail salon to get my nails done redone again that often. But I might need to like, I might need to go and get this fixed. Like I can't. When you just and then it's like the first finger you see, in like your thumb. I'm always looking at this chip nail. Like I, it's not even like it's my pinky where like I don't pay that much attention to it. It's literally the first two nails. So that's actually really annoying. Um, so I might have to do that this week. 
every time I let you in. I was having this conversation and I was thinking about how, like, when, when people try to spin the block and come back into your life. Why is it so un... <laughs> Wait, that's just as bad. But, like, when people try to spin the block and come back, um, again, I was talking to my friend. We were just saying how, like, people think that they don't have to start from scratch all over again. Like, you'll be taught, like, maybe you talked to somebody years ago, and when they come back around, you gotta, like, show me that you actually like me. Like, we're not starting from where we left off. You're not, you have to treat me like you don't know me. Like, treat me like you're still trying to impress me you know like when you first meet someone and they're super like everything's nice and sweet and they're taking you out and da 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 you gotta do that all over again yes you already know me but like no like we're not going back we're not starting from where we were just because you know me like no 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 you gotta start over i'm screaming oh i was so stinking cute <laughs> looking at my pictures but um but yeah exactly you got to start from where we were we, we you can't start from where we left off just because you know me like you gotta you gotta make the effort all over again start over booski <laughs> sorry y'all i'm all over the place i'm all over the place this morning it could be that coffee maybe possibly but i printed out some old pictures at one point and i had just found this prom picture y'all been seeing all the prom stuff like I'm so happy that I grew up in a generation that it wasn't, it was like serious, but like not that serious. Like kids would get like a limo and you know, maybe everybody would chip in for it or you do something after prom, maybe we'll go down to Atlantic City or go down to the beach and stay out there and do a little hotel party. Like we would do little stuff like that, wear something really cute and extravagant, but not extravagant, but wear something really cute, but not as extravagant. Like I'm happy I missed th this was going on now. Like the girls thousands of dollars on the dresses and spending it all on the decor and you buy you getting these crazy rentals girl we kept it simple oh my gosh this is me right here <laughs> so my dress had like little sparkles and the back was like had these open slits and it was like long this was 2014 and i was writing stuff on the back because so i can remember because this is what our grandparents used to do like write stuff on the back so we knew what we were talking about but this was 2014. I'm glad I got this little simple moment. Just a little simple moment. Because I can't. Imagine me expecting my pa my dad to be like, hey, um, well, yeah, prom is coming up. And I need about $2,000. Like, what? What? I, I don't know how parents are doing it now, child. It ain't my business, I suppose. But I'm glad I ain't a part of it, child. But I don't know. Oh, I actually should write something on the back of this one, too. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Ah! What just came out? I'm dropping pictures. Ding! Wait. <laughs> so it's in there. I did write something on the back. I haven't really like. I know they give you the lines to write something on the side, but like, girl, I don't. I would have to brainstorm every single one. I'm screaming at this. Just looking at old pictures. <laughs> Uh, but this is from last year. I was telling you guys earlier in the vlog that we're going to do a family trip. So this is from my last year family trip at the Poconos. It can't fit in nothing. I guess that's why it fell out. I don't know where it was. Where I tried to put it. But yeah. So I'm just going to I guess put this back. And keep trying to add to it. Again, I, I, I think it's such a cute idea. And even you think about it like when you get older. Something that your, excuse me, something that your kids can have to look at. You know, something that if, if you don't have kids, something that you're you you can show to your friends and reminisce back on like on that on those pictures i put like creative events in new york this was april 2024 so like when i look back on in 10 years i'm gonna be like oh look at me and alexis like back then and we took that you know so i don't know i like stuff like that so um i could again i do have to print some more stuff out of my phone so that i can have more to add and keep up with that so that's it for now, I'm going to do a little um, poll on my Instagram because I always do like which workout are we doing. Um, so I'm going to do that on Instagram. You act like you aren't summertime ready. I'm reading a comment or a response to my uh, story. Girl, bye. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. But I just had a thought because I was thinking about how um, one of my friends, Kyra, she asked me one day like what's my 
what's my content breakdown or like how do I stay organized throughout the weeks and stuff like that. And one thing that I mentioned is that I try to do a month, I try to do a weekly uh, LinkedIn post. And I had just got a like on my LinkedIn post, so it made me think about the conversation. But I was talking about building your own personal brand and like how it can be hard but some things that I enjoy doing to help build my personal brand are like lean into certain things. Um, so basically, there are some things that I enjoy being associated with that you guys pick up on, which I like. I, I love that so much. I wish y'all really knew how much I loved it. Like when y'all send me stuff that you find that relates to me, I'd be like, yeah, because this is a part. This is like essentially a part of my personal brand. Like me and claw clips. Like there was a viral video of this girl with the different claw clips. I think she got them off of Amazon, but she was like styling her hair with the claw clips. Like literally, like five people sent me that video because they're like, oh, Morgan likes claw clips. Let me send them to her. I feel like that's associated with building my personal brand. Because it's just something simple that you guys associate me with. Or like matcha. People will ask me like, hey, what's your matcha order? Or like people will ask me stuff like that randomly because they already associate Morgan with certain things. And I feel like it kind of happens accidentally. But like I don't do anything on purpose. It's just that this is just what I like and I enjoy sharing that with you guys. And when you guys pick up on it, that's how I know it's like stamped as something that I do. So like I was, I also mentioned in the the LinkedIn post, I mentioned Alexis too because I was saying how she did that well with coach and like how her audience associates her with coach because that's a part of her personal brand it's something that she's stamped as a part of her so it just happens automatically or people tag her and coach stuff or people send stuff to her because they know that she likes it so that's like personal like brand that's like my take on personal branding and how something something sometimes something so simple and some something so small can turn into personal branding and it's also something you have to be cautious about too because you don't want something negative to be associated with your personal brand you don't want to be known for something negative um because personal brands can go either way um or who do i who, who, what's another example i can think of like camille her personal brand involves stem and when you think about things in stem you think about her stem social and like her that being her, it's a part of her personal brand. It's a part of who she has made herself to be, who she presents herself to her audience as. So I think it's really interesting. And again, it can happen like in small ways. But oh, oh, I did get a comment too, my girl Lauren. She commented and was like, you forgot to mention your sta statement earrings. And I was like, see, that's exactly what I mean. Because I didn't think about it at the time. In my original post, I didn't think about staple earrings. But that's definitely something that I, people know, people know of me like not say know me for but like <laughs> people associate with me basically like me and like my staple earrings is definitely a thing that I try to lean into and that one kind of came a little bit more on purpose almost because I was like oh let me just kind of tune into that a little bit more I didn't do it just I kind of had I put more thought into it I was like you know what I I do enjoy a staple earring let me make sure I buy some so that I um pe that sticks a little bit more like matchas I just drink matchas anyway I talk about them just regularly but statement earrings i told myself like you know what i actually really do love statement earrings so let me let me push that a little bit more because i want people to like associate me with certain things so that one kind of happened a little bit more like intentionally and it worked because it's just kind of like oh people think about statement earrings when they think about when people think about me they think about a staple earring or they know like if i'm getting dressed up i'm probably going to have something interesting in my ears <laughs> and it's funny because i actually had a brand a statement a brand with like funky interesting earrings follow me and I was like oh see that that's funny because they probably recognize that I like stuff like that so it's just interesting personal branding can be interesting but again you do have to be cautious with the things that you don't want to become your personal brand like I always hear well not always but I've heard people say you have to be cautious with um things that you go viral for like anything that you post you have to be you never know how it may go so you have to kind of be ready for it to go viral you don't want to go viral for something that has nothing to do with your personal brand or not saying you don't want to but people will automatically begin to group you in with whatever you went viral for so if you go viral because you talked about a story with your ex that may overtake your personal brand now everyone who's following you everyone who's interested in your content they're going to be focused on the story with you and your ex because that's what they know you for you know so you got to be cautious about some things sometimes too um so i'm just packing this little bag that was my work my other bag i took some stuff out i'm going to try and run to the mall we're going to cross our fingers because i've had these zara items for over a month let me actually let me ask somebody i know somebody's a worker zara let me just let me just confirm real quick because 
I know that like after a month, I, I just want to, I don't want it to be a waste of time. Hold on. Hey, I had these items from Zara for over a month. What's my possible, what are my likelihood, what's my likelihood, <laughs> what's my likelihood of returning it? Thank you. That's it. So we're going to see what she's saying. Hopefully, mind you, I was supposed to return it on the 15th. It's like the 20th. So I'm a couple days past. I would love my money back. If I don't get my money back, then it's cool. I'm going to be very nice to the to the person, very nice to them. Because cross my fingers. Even just give me store credit. I will take store credit. I don't care. I'll cause I'll go back to Zara at some point in time. But I just don't want those particular items. Okay, bye. Y'all. <laughs> that was so unserious. Wait, wait, that was so unserious. <laughs> First of all, hold on with the area because, mm. okay, y'all, it was unserious, but it was so funny because I was just like, oh my gosh, like just dancing and I was kind of laughing at myself because I felt like I looked silly, um, <laughs> but it was still pretty fun. I did break a sweat, like I'm actually sweating. I was thinking like, okay, cool, I'm gonna run to the mall because I was telling y'all about the Zara pieces that I am gonna try and see if I can return or get a store credit for, I don't know. But um, I was like, oh, like let me go to the mall after that. But I'm actually, well, I mean like, I'm still gonna go to the mall because I'm in the area of the mall and going back home would just be like stupid. But um, oh my gosh, like <laughs> I, mean, I was actually in there sweating. But it was a really good time. The instructor um, was, um, he was like, oh, I don't know I don't know what he was he was black he was either black or like Dominican I'm not really sure but he was a good time because he was just he his energy was high one of the guys in the, in the class was saying that he was a sub um, so he's not the typical guy which kind of sucks so I think that he has some good energy to the point where you would want to go back for his class and um, it was a good time and it's also just like I was sitting there thinking that it was interesting because with class pass, some classes you go to, you have a more personable experience where like maybe the class is a little bit smaller or you're talking to people or you're meeting different people. Some classes you don't, you go in, you don't talk at all. Like my bar class, it's rare I speak to anybody in my bar class and I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's six in the morning, it could also be that, not really sure. But usually people are more on the silent side when it comes to the bar class I go to. But this class, you know, I came in and it also could just be the energy that I lead with because sometimes people don't know to speak to you. Sometimes you have to speak first, you know, and I don't have a problem with that. Um, but this class, I had asked the woman next, the woman next to me, I asked if she had ever been to the class before and uh, we just started chatting. And then this other older guy, this older white guy, he joined in. The lady that I was talking to was a white woman as well. And we just started talking. She said she was a, a she does ballroom dancing and i guess that's like i don't know if that's her profession but she was saying like sometimes like she's there all day like like practicing the ballroom and it's kind of like stressful she was just telling her experience and i was just like kind of like that's a whole different world that i'm not used to hearing about like a ballroom dancer and she was in there killing it like i was like oh period like we was doing the little steps she's twirling and she's doing it all cute and like she's getting it and i was just like oh like this is such a uh it was such an interesting moment and even the um the older white guy that i was talking to he was telling me about the different classes and like what days they go they um they do the zumba on and how he enjoys zumba he was in there jamming too so it was just a really uh interesting experience um um, just different from my typical classes because again a lot of my classes we don't really talk or you know it's not as like um, chatter chatter but these they were really it was a good vibe it was a better like more personable vibe in there I was recording my myself a little bit I don't know if I'm going to include those clips but again it was Zumba so a lot of the music was um like Spanish music that like I was doing the salsa and I'm just jamming but it was a really good time so it's about 11 30 I'm going to run to the mall really quickly like I said I'm starting to sweat up in here like for real for real um I'm going to run to the mall really quickly Hopefully I can return it. Let's cross our fingers, child. Let me see. Cherry Hill Mall. Yeah, it's only three miles away. So me going home would have been so silly. Ten minutes away, like. But who, girl? I need to go home and take a shower. And then I still have to work later. So I'm going to try and make this quick and easy. Um, and I'll talk to y'all in a second. Girl, fail. I tried, though. I tried it. But I'm literally two days past. I'm like, y'all don't do store credit or nothing? She said no. So I was like, okay, thank you. It's no sense in getting an attitude at this point, because it's my fault. But 
I can only imagine how someone else would have reacted. Like, what you mean I can't return? That's what I wanted to say. But I was like, you know what? The rules are the rules. Okay, bye. All right, I'm kind of sick about it a little bit. Because <laughs> I wanted my money back. I was like, y'all don't do store credit or nothing. She said no. So... Um, I will say it wasn't a complete waste of time because I was literally 10 minutes away. I would have been so hurt. Not so hurt, but it would have affected me. <laughs> it would have been even more annoying if I had came all the way out here like for nothing. But let me show y'all what it, I mean, I showed y'all these before. I can still wear them. Like they can still fit me, thank God. I just didn't want them. So, but I guess I got to keep them now. <laughs> so basically it's like this little denim shirt. This was for the event for Houston. I, I showed you guys these already, but when I first was trying to plan an outfit for the denim day, I picked out this like denim shirt. It has like sleeves, whatever, whatever. That was the first one. And the second one was a pair of shorts. Um, but my thing is I'm very particular about the denims matching and they just didn't match. Of course I can wear this with a different shirt. So I can still get away with them. They're like these metallic shorts and they can fit, um, but they have like gold detailing. They're like gold. So I can still get away with them. Um, so I guess, it's okay. I can see this with like a cute white shirt. I don't know what else, but something else. <laughs> but I guess. <laughs> and this is the second time I did this. I also have this other denim shirt that I took too long to return to. It's been 30 days for that too. From a different brand. So I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out something with that. That one's a little bit too small. I didn't show y'all that one because I was just gonna return or I was gonna show y'all when I actually went to wear it but let me head home it's 12 o'clock now so I have to work I'm gonna go home take my shower get ready for my day and I'm having a good day I'm having a really good day I think Zumba really kicked it off I mean my yeah Zumba really kicked it off because I'm like okay I had a good good start good start I'm sick hold on let me pause this I should have known hey I said pause <laughs> but uh, I should have sized up I knew it uh, I'm so sick I'm like okay 6 is my regular size 6 is my regular size should I get a 6 and a half I should have gotten a stinking 6 and a half but they're so cute uh, I miss them but they don't fit well they, they fit me like perfectly like my big toe is like right there now it would be one of those things where if my toenail grew grew out a little bit, I mean, I'm not really getting acrylic on my toes right now, but sometimes, you know, when acrylic grows out, you know, your toenail gets longer, of course, and that would hurt. Like, I wouldn't be able to wear these with, a, like, a slightly longer toenail. So, it's just like, girl, I should have got a six and a half, and I'm so sick about it because you have to, they don't do exchange. You have to re return, wait for your money back, and reorder, or I guess I could just reorder. I mean, like I said, they're $60, so they're pretty inexpensive. You know, they're just a slip-on. But, oh, I'm so bummed out about that. I was going to create some content, which is why I have this shirt on. I was trying to find an outfit for it. It looks good. Like, again, this is the shirt that I was talking about from Zara that I was trying to return. I just have a strapless bra on with it, which I never wear bras anymore. Like, is it, I, I, I was like, wow, I haven't put on an actual bra in a long time. Um, but I was trying to figure out something to wear with it. I was going to create, like, an outfit and, like, introduce it to my TikTok. But they they like barely fit like i guess i can still create the content really but like i don't really want to put them all on my feet in them like that i don't know i just uh and then like i said they don't do exchanges so i have to like box it back up and take it to the postal office like why do i feel like doing that like oh my gosh i really don't i wish they had a van store where i can just return it in store or something like I didn't order it from journeys I wish I would have ordered it from journeys because then I'll just go to journeys and just do it that way but I I ordered it from the actual vans website okay so I don't know I'm just kind of bummed out about that but I just woke up I was creating some content I was trying to do something with the Paula's Choice I was telling you guys about I got the PR and I was like oh I should do something promotional for for them um and I saw this video recently talking about how this is why I don't, I don't accept gifted or gifted partnerships in exchange for content because a lot of you, I mean, you probably, you guys probably know this by now. I mean, if you accept content, then they can, the brand can write it off on their taxes and it will come back on you to pay on whatever you were gifted in exchange for content. Why would you accept something gifted in exchange for content if you're going to have to pay on it in the future? No, thank you. I don't accept nothing. Like, I'd be like, does this have posting requirements? And they're like, no, thank you. Because I, uh-uh. Why would I pay on something that I'm getting for free? I'm paying for the product at this point. Like, girl, um, 
So I'm just going to move on to the next thing that I had in mind. I had a couple things in mind, I guess, just to do for the morning. It's about 9.45. Um, I have an outfit idea. I have bought these pair of heels. Hold on. I bought them from Public Desire, like, literally two years ago. I have yet to wear them. And I'm debating on if I should throw them away or not. Like, I was just back and forth because I'm not sure... <laughs> They're like unique to me, but I can't really figure it out. They're like this towel material and they like wrap in the front and you know, of course a pointed toe. And like, again, they're really unique cause they have like a towel material. And that's again, that's what I was attracted to, but I have yet to find something to wear with them. They're kind of like a mule, I guess. Yeah, I guess they would, yeah, they're like a mule. And I have yet to figure it out. So I was like, maybe if I find a, if I put something together, it may influence me to actually wear them. Because I feel like they're spring, summer shoe. Like this blue. But literally have not touched, <laughs> have not worn them at all except to try them on in the house. So it's just like, maybe if I figure something out to wear. Maybe if I create some content with it. Get you guys' opinion. I mean, again, they my feet. So I guess if I like them, I'm wearing them anyway. But for the most part, I was trying to figure out if I actually like them if I can really like see myself styling them so I'm just doing my ones and twos this morning um, I'm off today we love that um so I'm just gonna continue to do a little something something until I figure out what's next for later so let me go okay I figured it out I feel like this is something that I would actually wear I'm not gonna lie like, I didn't, you know, sometimes you put something together, it's cute, but it's not really your style, it's not really your look. But I feel like this I could actually do. So, these are the shades I got from Amazon some time ago. I got this bag from Shein years ago when I went to Tulum. It's like this little knit, or not knit, but it's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not knitting. Like a little threaded, uh, bag. I can't really, it's a, like, basket woven type of bag. Um... And I went with the all white because I felt like this is very easy. This is very simple. Um, the pop of co the pops are the the colors. So I wish I could really give y'all full body. But um, then the blue hill. I feel like the blue and the orange can like play on each other a little bit. I feel like it's kind of fun. Um, I feel like it's kind of like adult. Like I don't. I think it might be the incorporation of the two colors. I think they're like what complementary. Um, orange and, and blue. Um, or am I making that up? It's one, I forgot how the pinwheel go, but the blue and orange can sometimes play with each other a little bit. Um, and I just feel like, I feel like this is kind of cute. And then the high pony, I like the high pony with it. And again, the white was to kind of simplify it, but like again, make the, the colors stand out the most. But I think it's kind of cute. I like it. Ding! I feel like I would actually wear it. The shoes are a bit of an uncomfortable walk. Oh wait, I forgot to explain the shirt. The shirt, I may have to tweak it a little bit because I bought this from Aritzia. It's actually a dress. Um, it's a really obnoxious dress that does not compliment me well at all. <laughs> so uh, I like to usually tuck it. Sometimes I'll give it a twist roll situation. But this time I kind of like, since I'm wearing such tight little shorts, I kind of wanted to like cover up, not cover up, but I wanted it to still be tasteful almost because the shorts are all hip hugging and you know you see all my goodies in the shorts so I was like let me like jazz it up a little little bit without doing too much you know so I gave it a little slanted tuck to kind of give it some character again it's super baggy it does have a padded shoulder it's from Aritzia I cut the uh I cut this part it's such a horrible cut don't mind me so sometimes I'll just give it a tuck to like make it look a little bit better I should probably just fix the cut but like Girl, I ain't no designer. Like, what do you mean? Um, so yeah, I think it's kind of cute. It shows off a, it shows off like a little bit. I think it still can be kind of like cute in just a little bit of a moment. Um, I like it. I'm actually kind of proud of this. <laughs> I think sometimes um, outfits can be very simple. Like literally, just I got on biker shorts and a shirt. But the accessories, the little Amazon shades that I really like, they're really flimsy though. I showed you guys these a couple of vlogs ago. But again, they were from Amazon. They're super cheap. Um, so I kind of like that. I like them both together. I'm going to look it up if it's, if it's a complimentary color. It's something about the orange and the blue that are coming together in my mind. Don't ask me why. Because you know how purple and yellow go together? I know that much. I think they're like complimentary. So 
the shoes are just kind of uncomfortable to walk in. I mean, a mule is always like a hit or miss, but also I have to get something for the bottom of the shoe. Like I would need an extra grip because these are like super smooth to me. They of course put like a little fake grip, but these are like, it's not an official heel brand. Public Desire, they're literally from Public Desire. If I can find the link, I'll link them. But um, that's like what my thought was. I did create the TikTok. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna edit it, see what I can get from it and go from there. I am supposed to be going out this weekend or Friday. We're supposed to be going out. So I'm kind of like in the midst of finding an outfit for that, like at the same time. Um, just like brainstorming some stuff. So that's what we got. I'm going to take a picture of the shoes so I can have them as a possible thumbnail. Um, and then I'm going to guess take the clothes off and just chill for a little bit. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'm like, what do I want to do? That's always my problem on my off days. Okay, bye. Okay. We made some plans. I took a nap. I just chilled. I was minding my business. And I was like, I woke up maybe about like three something. And I was like, oh, I should do something. <laughs> I have such a hard time with sitting down on my off days. I'm like, I feel like I should be doing something. So I was about to go to the park. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just sit in the park, mind my business, um, maybe cut up an apple, bring a book, something of that nature. And then Camille texts the group chat, like, what y'all doing? <laughs> so we're going to Camille's house. Yay! Um, I just finished up the partnership that I not finished up, but I posted my partnership for this month for Burt's Bees. It was the Shea Butter um, body oil. If you guys saw it, please, I will leave the link to it below if you guys could like it at least. You don't gotta buy it if you don't want it, but like it at least, please. That'll be great. Um, I actually really do like it. Like, I, I've been using it pretty frequently. I haven't been talking about it because I was like trying to wait until I have to talk about it like contractually. So today I was able to talk about it. So. I've been using it and I actually really like it. I think it does give like a very glowy look to my skin. Um, I've been on Finery real bad. Like ever since me and Alexis went to the Finery event, I just pull for Finery all the time. This is Flower Bed. This is like one of my favorites. This is probably the first fragrance that I like fell in love with during that like um, brand event. I love Flower Bed. It's so pretty. Um, we might make it kind of like a little work session i guess I, we, we mentioned it so i bought this little i'm bringing this little bag now this bag i bought a while ago because it was for tulum similar to the orange one i showed y'all earlier literally like a little tulum moment and i was like i'm probably not gonna really wear this again i mean this is giving me like beach vibe but i was like i can i can make use of it by just bringing it i have my little content book in here and i'm just gonna put my purse in here too and i'm just gonna do it like that, carry you guys. I do need to get a battery. So cool, boom, boom. And I'm gonna head to Camille's. So let's go. Ready? Three, two. Okay. If I put it up somewhere, I'm blocking myself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got a hunch. What? Ding. The bunny ears is insane. <laughs> okay. Ears. Okay. Ding. 
Thursday. Thursday. Alright, y'all. So it's Tuesday. Y'all probably gonna see this Ooh. on Thursday. Thursday? Huh? When Sunday. you gonna put this vlog? Oh, Sunday. Not too much. Sunday. Sunday. Okay, so this is her activity she did on Tuesday. She had the day it's off. Taco Tuesday. Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. This is our second Taco Tuesday. We had a beautiful. Oh, we had a beautiful yeah. time Me. together. Make sure you follow. I'm Camille. Period. Period. Me. Mike Del Monte. Monte. I've been on here. You just vlogging me. I just can't. I've been on here since <laughs> she started. Actually, I remember me. She started off as my videographer, and she said, "Fuck you." <laughs> and them bitches that you came with. She, she said, "Martin had a dream," and now look at her now. Two point seven k followers. Doing content, getting paid, yeah. getting paid, staying yeah. slayed. Mm -hmm. And I'm is. just out here winging shit, y'all. But we gonna make it. I got my and sisters well. with me. Yeah, well. We got Camille, STEM, social. You know what I mean? What's the percentage? One. <laughs> 1%, y'all. 1% actually, is actually, it's 1%. It's 1%. She's 1% of brown mm -hmm. girl in her field. So I'm just honored. I'm blessed. Like, God is good all the time. Yeah, we had to get a quick little ones and twos. Yeah, a quick little ones and twos. But okay, y'all. Bye. Uh, See y'all right, later. Bye. See you later. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Wrap it up. Uh, can I get to... <laughs> Wrap it up. Hey. I can't, this is gonna be on the BTS. I can't wait. Wait. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm literally just, I wanted to go and get a plant. <laughs> I want another plant, baby. So we're gonna get a plant. I'm trying to think though. I feel like I, well, I guess I can get a snake plant. I was trying to think what type of plant I wanted to get because I was going to go to low, de depending on, I was trying to decide where I wanted to go. Why do y'all look blurry? I don't know if that helped at all. But anyway, I just kind of threw on kind of like anything. I really wanted to wear these pants for some reason. I think I got them from Marshalls some time ago, but they're very like springy. They're very fun. This is the shirt that I told you guys. That's actually a dress from Aritzia. I literally just tied it up in the back my bras my sports bras out but i tied it up in the back just so that um first of all it's a little warm outside and then i oh i did a pink claw clip because first of all i love claw clips but anyway i also wanted to wear these sandals that i have from primark for like two years i, I barely ever wear them and i just kind of wanted to i don't know i just wanted to wear them they don't necessarily go per se but i just also added the pink little ring pink claw clip pink slides y'all can't see but i don't know i again i'm just going to get a, a plant like it's not even that deep um my issue though was a bag i don't have a bag that really goes with anything i would love if i had like a navy blue bag like a navy blue tail far would be so cute um but all I, I don't have any bags that look right with these like with this color scheme so i was either just gonna do the brown tail far and then i have a blue bag like that's like of course it's not the same color blue but i don't know i guess i'll do brown it's it's safer maybe a brown shade i don't, I don't even care like i just uh it's not that deep y'all but my perfume i'm just doing the finery born to empress i told you guys i've been on finery so bad lately like so bad all over again just keep pulling for the fineries. It smells so pretty, like girly, 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 like for real. But it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I did my laundry this morning, so I got that out of the way. I washed my sheets. I did all my pillow stuff. I did all that all over again. Put my put all my clothes away. So I was happy I got that out of the way, child. Because yeah, it's annoying, very annoying doing laundry. But um, I'm about to head out in a second. I kind of wanted to do something else. <laughs> I can never sit down, but it's a nice day. And my thing is also, I told you guys, my work schedule just changes all the time. So when I do have such a nice day, I'm just pulled to be outside. So I don't know. I'll probably just get my plant and come back. I do need to edit. I have some content that I can post today um, from, it's another spider. But I have some content that I can post. So... Uh, kind of just should come back and do that actually 
I cleaned my bathroom today. Like I just feel, I feel productive almost. But it has to be, it's literally 12, 18. So I'm probably just gonna go get my plan and come back, set her up. I do have this little, um, I still have my little uh, plant holder stool thingy that I got some time ago that now has no plant on it because, okay, it's wrapped in some cords right now, whatever. I'll show y'all when I come back. <laughs> but I have it from when I went to Marshall's for my other plant, for Fiona. What should this plant's name be? It has to start with an F. Fiona and it's gonna have to come to me when I get there. Okay, let me go, bye. Okay, so I have this little hanging glass terrarium in my apartment that I think I hit it a couple times and it just, it's nothing in there. So I think I wanna get like a little succulent too, something small that I can place inside the little terrarium. I'm thinking that and um, I might have to Google some of the flowers that are here because I don't want anything that I cannot take care of. Like, it just, it, that would just be crazy. Right now I have a pothos. Oh, this is a golden pothos too. So I might just get another one. Yeah, I might just get another one of these. Cause then I could also watch it grow, but also want a bigger plant. <laughs> like these are so big. I'm not getting that heavy. But like, like this one for example is 30. And I feel like it's a pretty considerable size. It kind of already has its own little, um, oh I lied, it's 40. I lied, this one is 30. But look at how pretty it already is. Wait, let me turn it this way. Okay, so it's this, it's a Monstera. But it already, look at it, it's already thriving. And this one looks so pretty in my face. Like, oh! <gasps> Oh, I'm distracted. Oh, look at how quick it is. I think I like this one. I don't know. I'm I might go with this one. Because look at her. She's just calling my name. <laughs> oh, look at how beautiful she is. But wait, I should probably Google it and see. Wait. Oh, it says easy to grow. Child, what's easy? Okay, water when top inch of soil is dry. Okay, that's easy enough. Medium light, oof, what that mean? Cause my apartment don't have that much light. Okay, hold on. Okay. Baby secured, I'm actually gonna put it on my Instagram story and see if anyone has any good name suggestions for me. That starts with an F and then we'll go from there. Oh, how beautiful. I love it. Okay, I made it back. Okay. <laughs> I made it back. Um, someone did give me a really good name suggestion. Someone said forest. I think that's so cute. Uh, Fiona Forest. So probably have Fiona over there by the window. That's my old, that's my OG. And then I think this is gonna be Forest. I like that. And then I did get a little baby mini. Hi. I did get this one because I, I realized that I was saying terranium. That's not what it's called. These little things. It's not called a terranium. It's called a ter tertarium. Tertarium. It, I'm saying it wrong. It's not called a terrarium. Okay, plant terrarium. I'm saying it wrong. It's a plant terrarium, not terrarium. <laughs> plant terrarium. Terrarium. Terrarium? All right, okay, hold on. Terrarium. Is I, am I not saying it right? I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm saying it right. <laughs> But this was my old one. It's just like a little hanging glass one. But like when I, I remember I had my goddess locks. I had them up in a bun. And this is the way this is hanging. I like knocked it with my head. And then it like some of the dirt spilled out. And it ended up just passing away unfortunately. I just looked over at it. I was like dang. She passed away. So that was the whole point of me wanting a little mini one. I'm gonna see what other people put for names, but I kind of have an idea of where I'm leaning towards if I don't really care for any of the other names. But my other baby is definitely gonna be uh, Forrest. She's definitely, or he is Forrest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Forrest, he's a big body Forrest. <laughs> so I have little newspapers that I'm gonna put down so I don't get everything all messy. I don't know why I still got this white shirt on. Knowing I'm about to be digging in dirt. <laughs> Digging in dirt. I probably don't even need this one. I'm wasting them at this point. Wasting them. But y'all, I saw this video earlier and 
it was pretty interesting. I'm gonna play it while I take the dirt out and stuff. Okay, let me preface this by saying the beginning of the video, it was a it was a woman, a black girl saying that she thinks that white women don't it like shocks them that uh, people women of other races can be prettier than them so there's been like a whole stitch people or like a bunch of people have been stitching the video of different race different races talking about their experience with maybe other women who don't who you can tell don't value their beauty um so in this particular video i'm going to put it on the screen so it's going to be a woman talking about her experience and like her perspective as the race that she is okay let's talk about it I think some white girls cannot fathom that a girl who's not white can be considered beautiful. As a white girl, I can confirm that what she's saying is totally accurate, unfortunately. Um, I think a big part of it is when you grow up in a predominantly white area, you subconsciously or whatever start categorizing all the white girls in like a certain hierarchy in your head but then black girls are like in their own separate category and so you don't like judge their beauty standards in the same way i guess um and one thing that always makes me think of this is this time when i was on the distance track team and my coach was trying to get a group of girls together and she was asking me where one of the runners was and she was like, oh, where's that one girl? I just can't remember her name, but she's the really pretty one. Like, she's gorgeous. What's what's her name? And I, like, paused and started, like, listing off a few names, but was, like, kind of confused. And then turns out she was talking about the only black girl who was on our distance team. And that moment, like, totally rewired my brain. And I realized that... I never would have described her as anything other than like the black girl on the team because she was the only one and it really made me like change the way that I think about describing someone and using like other things which seems like a basic thing but that was the moment for me where I realized that the way I was thinking was very problematic. Now, okay wait, <coughs> excuse me, before I exit out of the video let me go to the comments for a second. Because a lot of the comments were mixed. You know, you have some women who are like, we appreciate your honesty. We have some women that are like, um, you're very brave for talking about this. Or we have some women that are kind of like validating her and saying like, we knew it. Like, we know this is how y'all think. And we can tell we've always felt it. And um, um, someone said, I love a self-reflecting queen. Um, someone else said, I said this was, I said, oh, wow. Interesting. Like, this was very interesting to me. And actually a girl that I follow, she said, anti-blackness is deeply embedded in all of us. I appreciate the honesty. I'm black and I have a similar story. Um, someone said accountability, pretends to be shocked. Again, this is something that we already knew. But like, <sighs> it's very interesting. <laughs> like, again, it's something that we already could feel as black women. Like, we know that we aren't looked at the same way. It's just how socially we are constructed to view uh, races in comparison to white women. Like they're the beauty standard or they're, they, are what's, they are what society has set to be the prettiest, right? So when we think about their perspective, it's just super interesting to me. Um, I did think about my own perspective and just wondered like, how do I think? I think that the difference though I think it, it, it relates in a, in a in a it's similar in certain ways because on one hand I think of black women I think of like when I think about a beautiful black woman the first or when I think about a beautiful woman the first thing I think of is black women right like that's just my instinct um I think that's probably true for all races like well not all or not all but it's true for a lot of us that when we think about beautiful women, we think about ourselves. We think about the women that we are raised by. We think about the women that we grew up on, the women who um, matter or who's, who've impacted our lives. We think about celebrities, maybe even. We think about like a beautiful woman. And my mind automatically jumps to black women. And I guess it's similar to her where her mind jumps to white women. But what I will say um, also is that the difference is... I I can still recognize recognize when another a woman of another race is pretty. Like I can still say like, oh, she's gorgeous. Like it's still like a certain level of pretty that I can identify in my own brain. It seems like from that video she hasn't thought about it or 
she doesn't think about women of other races and in particular she was talking about black women but she doesn't think about black women pretty in the same way or she doesn't even consider their beauty as a part of beauty that's kind of what it felt like where, again, it's different for me because I can still recognize beauty within other races, even though in my mind, when I think of beautiful woman, I pop, it, an image of a black woman pops up in my head. Again, whereas her, she don't have an image of a black woman that pops up in her head. That's kind of what it feels like. I feel like that's the difference. Again, we are socially constructed to see um, other races as pretty. It's It's something that we can't forget. It's something that you can't. You can't, um, we've been conditioned to, to think of other races as pretty. We've been conditioned to not think of ourselves in the same way, unfortunately. Um, so it's, it's such an interesting thought. I mean, of course, it's something that, like, we already knew. It's something that we felt already. It's something that, like, isn't surprising, like, pretends to be shocked. Yeah, like, I have, I'm not surprised by what she says. It does suck. Okay, wait, how am I going to do this? I wish y'all could really see me, but I'm trying to put the, ah, okay, wait, oh no, sorry, wait, it's too big, oh no, but I don't know, it sucks for sure, because like, we are, uh, we are gorgeous, <laughs> like, it's no question about it, so the fact that other races are like, or she has admitted that it's not the same thought for us as it is for them you know it kind of hurts our feelings at the same time like dang it's like that like y'all don't think about us at all like dang we are the standard how y'all rewriting history we've been the standard what do you mean but again i was conditioned to think of it like that whereas like she wasn't i don't know that sucks though at the same time all right i messed this up all right i don't know if she Oh, Fran. Yeah, she's Fran. Fran, Fiona, Forrest. But like, I think I just stunted her growth a little bit. What the heck? Anyway, that's what she looks like in there. I did, I was able to stuff her in there, but I feel like I'm potentially stunting her growth a little bit. Even though it's a succulent, like it's gonna be small. But like, oh, I don't wanna put too much like dirt in there, I guess, but not dirt, but soil. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think about the video i feel like i understand it because again i think about us as the beauty standard in my own head but having the confirmation does still like dang it is still kind of like i can't believe that i can't believe it and i i guess i we need them to wake up because what now we are in our own lane i will say we are in our own lane but the fact that other races don't consider us in the beauty uh category feels i don't know that that sucks because we are you know gorgeous i just added some extra little rocks that i found that i had already in the ter terrarium <laughs> so you know i guess she has potential i better not knock it again because if i knock it this whole thing is coming out hold up now i gotta push it back some or something Okay. <laughs> uh, as good as it's gonna get. Oh, I should have did a before and after, like, pictures. Uh, ugh, I'm not on my game. I'm not on my game. But that's what we got for that one. So this is what it'll look like, just hanging on my little thing. <laughs> Cute. I think it's adorable, kind of. <laughs> Lord, help us. So, 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 you are so, 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 so pretty. <laughs> I actually need a water can. I was looking at the water cans in there, but um, 
nothing the one that are so it was basically there was there were stainless steel one were two were silver one was a gold one with the same like metallic look so i was looking at the silver um because that fits more of my place <laughs> i was looking at the silver but the issue with that one was it I, it's lows so i'm not really surprised but they were so dingy looking like they did not look good if i order one off of amazon i guarantee you it's gonna come shiny you know what i'm saying so i wasn't really feeling the water pots there and then when i found one that didn't look as bad it didn't have a tag at all so i would have to like either bring up the other one so i can ring up the other one so i can get the tag like girl it still was kind of dingy anyway so i feel like i should just order it on amazon so i don't have to just keep using like my measuring cup to, to water but the soil on fiona is dry like for sure dry for sure dry bookie i got you though so 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 i just started singing so 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 because i was telling my plants that they were pretty and then i just started singing <laughs> Fiona gorgeous gorgeous girls <laughs> okay it is a couple hours later it's 5 12 I just ate my other taco from yesterday it was too good like I tore that little taco up it was just one which I wish I had another one but honestly uh the tacos that we had they were um it was three of them well I showed y'all but it was three of them and I was like that's a grown man meal and then we had the corn on the side so that one taco was honestly just like a little little teaser today. But yesterday was a lot of food, thinking about it. Um, I'm just going to head, I'm just going to do a little walk. Because I had my tacos and I want to do a couple thousand steps. <laughs> I'm just wearing this little, I, I, you know, it don't really match. But you know one thing I hate? How all the sets come with crop tops. Like I just want, I want a regular length shirt. And the, the, the shirt that came with these orange bottoms was a crop top and i'm like listen i don't want a crop top i actually want something regular <laughs> and normal so when well, i well, don't say normal but i wanted something regular length so i just put this on um i am gonna wear my little fanny pack because i'm not gonna run i'm just gonna walk so it's just gonna be a little fanny pack moment um i have my beets i have i put some water and some ice water in this cup so i'm gonna leave that in my car it's a nice windy day but like i can see the breeze not windy but i see the breeze while i'm looking at the trees already and i'll be back i'm just gonna get a little walk in come back and that'll be like my day so let's go the walk was good <laughs> it's literally only when i stop walking that i feel like i have a blister like my feet be hurt and i'll be like oh my gosh like i didn't realize my feet hurt uh, while i was walking i feel like i got a blister on the bottom of my foot i didn't take my socks off yet so i didn't check but i wanted to say <laughs> i wanted to show you guys uh, i got some steps in 8,000, 8,000, okay. I can dig it. That was a great walk. I did about a little bit over three miles. So I just like <laughs> kept walking my little loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, and it felt really good, you know, just doing something different. I was kind of making a TikTok about like finding my own fit, like finding my own rhythm basically when it comes to like fitness. I, before I try to swear to, to the gym and I'm like, oh, like I'm gonna go to the gym like two, three times a week and da, da, da. It never worked for me, but that's really because that wasn't my tea. That just wasn't, it wasn't what I like to do. And I'm happy, I'm thankful that I found something that I can stick to now, something that I like between the hot girl walks and also class pass. Like, I just like to just balance between the two. I still do pay for Planet Fitness, but I have the cheapest membership. So if I do want to peek in there uh, once throughout the week, I can. Um, and I do kind of plan on incorporating that eventually, but for now, I'm happy with my rhythm that I've been that I've been falling into between the two class passes, two class pass days a week, and the hot girl walk. Like I try to just incorporate them, switch them out, and do them throughout the week. So that's kind of like me finding my own little flow. And like I said, me trying to dedicate, like, oh yeah, I'm going to do the gym, I'm going to do the gym, and never did the gym. It's just like, girl, that's because you didn't like the gym. Like I, I didn't like going. I couldn't. I couldn't get myself into it. Whereas. I'm excited for Pilates tomorrow. <laughs> I have a Pilates class in the morning, so 
I'm excited for it and you know hopefully I continue to keep that like momentum okay heel my heel hurts what about the bottom I don't see like a you know how the skin starts to like peel a little I don't see anything but it's definitely like sensitive spots that I can feel on the bottom of my foot I'm like is it my sneakers I probably do need a pair of new pair of sneakers I've been wearing the same pair of sneakers the same pair of sneakers for years I probably can get a different pair at this point but I'm gonna end the vlog off here thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys um, meet me back on for the next vlog continue to watch for the bloopers love you guys bye no, 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 no. Y'all in the whipping of up me. Bring it in. <laughs> I. Yeah, so. Ooh, it's lavender. Oh. Uh, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I'm so ready to go. No. Okay, hair is done.